your bosoms of their counsel, sweet. There, my Lysander and myself. <laughs> and thence from Athens. Well, it's a, a little known play by a little known playwright, uh, William Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream. Uh, it's one of my favorite Shakespearean plays, uh, uh, just because of the farcical nature of it and all of the uh, elements of fun that come together in there with the magic of the fairies and the world of Athens and the common laborers who come and want to put on a play for their Duke's wedding day. There is a play within a play, yes, and a rehearsal within a play. <laughs> We have a very disjointed production in terms of the costumes because we have um, elements from Elizabethan era as well as modern era um, as well as courses from the Victorian era. So it's kind of a mashup. Puck is uh, the hobgoblin of the show. Um, she works for Oberon and kind of is his jester slash minion. And she goes around uh, basically and causes all the havoc in the play. So. It's, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. I get to run around the stage. Um, I do some some fun tricks. I learned how to cartwheel. I did not know how before. So I think the uh, biggest challenge with this one is um, kind of playing that mystical character is, is different and interesting because you got you to gotta go big with it. So kind of going big or, or going home. You know, I really just liked being part of my first college production and getting to meet new people. Um, and it's, it's definitely been a new kind of experience and I've enjoyed it. I would say flute um, because he, well, he plays a female character in the play, so I get to do a woman's voice, which is fun. Nay, nay, let me not play a woman. I have a beard coming. Well, that's a one. You should play it in a mask. And you may speak as small as you will. And I may hide. Uh, of the, there's ten actors in the show, and eight of the ten play at least two roles, if not three. So, uh, multi-character actors, it's fun. It's a clear delivery. I think that there's uh, given situations that go on in it that uh, are, are going to be naturally funny, whether you're using Shakespearean dialogue or uh, modern dialogue. I think that some of those things just happen, and, and comedy can transcend that.